Beautiful colors, grit, and gore. That seems to be the staple of Invincible. Now, I was introduced to Invincible by the animated series that they released on Amazon Prime, which I have to say was actually really good in my personal opinion. I know they made some changes from the actual comic book storyline, but for the most part, it's fairly close to what actually happened. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce. Welcome to A Drink With Crazy. I hope everybody who's checking out this video likes what I'm doing. And if you do, hit that subscribe button for me and leave a comment down below so I can get to talking with all of you. Without any further ado, tonight we're drinking Blue Moon because you know what? Blue Moon's good and I haven't had Blue Moon in a while. So what is happening with Invincible? Why are we talking about it? Well, apparently... It's coming out in a game form. That's right, we're gonna get an Invincible video game and it's in the works supposedly as is reported by comicbook.com. Now, I don't usually go to comicbook.com because I cover more of the Iron Age creation, right? I cover more of the uh, smaller creators who are trying to get out there, break out on their own, and I like doing that. It's fun and exciting to see how it, much energy is around all of these new artists however that doesn't mean we can't talk about some big things that are going to be fun and exciting so let's get into this as it says here the invincible video games officially in the works video games based on skybound's long-running superhero series invincible are now confirmed to be in the works in recent years skybound has been expanding invincible in a number of different ways not only is there going to not only is there an ongoing animated series on Prime Video that has been renewed for three seasons, but a live-action movie adaptation, that's a mistake, of the comic book has been in development since 2017. Now the property seems poised to make its next major leap into the realm of video games. Skybound Entertainment announced today that it plans to kick off a number of new initiatives this year with Invincible to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the series. Oh, oh my god, that's right, it did come out that long ago. I'm fairly new to it, but I... Hey, I had a good time with the show. While most of these announcement plans involved releasing versions of various comics, Skybound of also flippantly added that it would unveil new apparel collectibles, tabletop games, video games, and more. This footnote related to video games is incredibly interesting and marks the first time that Invincible will be associated with the gaming medium. Now, one thing that would be absolutely fantastic to see when it comes to a brightly colorful video game is how they're going to incorporate some of the gore. Knowing Invincible, this is definitely not going to be a game that I would recommend or let anybody under the age of 17 play, right? Like, that, if it's going to be, uh, it's going to have the high rating, right? So don't, like, buy the, oh, this will be wonderful for Timmy and he's 10. No, 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 no. Don't do it. But what I love about this is that we're actually starting to see the expansion of a pretty decent story. And up until recently, it had some acclaim back in the day, but up until recently, it wasn't popularly well known. And now, since the Amazon series came out with a beautiful animation that was very reminiscent of that of the Justice League, which is what had me so enthralled with the series and the great voice acting also, we're actually going to see a video game. This could be a blast. Now, I hope, I hope, I hope that this video game is not some like live action service because that would decimate it. I hope that this video game is not something similar to that of like the Justice League Brawler games that we've seen come out in the past. I hope there's actually a story to this and a way to move through. Now, if they did it right, they could actually just do patches every year that would advance the story plot along the way and then you obviously you have to have some version of a multiplayer in this i mean it's a superhero game right you can't not have a multiplayer and everything seems to have a multiplayer but i think something like this is very very exciting for the world of entertainment in and of itself and you know what there's too many things that are negative in the world right now and trust me there's too many negative things in the world and it's time to talk about some positive things so what do you guys think about invincible getting a video game adaptation is that something that you guys would be excited to see I think it's something that I would be very excited to see. I think it's something that might be kind of fun to play, but with it just being announced, it's probably three to four years away if it's going to even come out at all. 
Again, that would be something great. Tabletop, mm, not so much. I think tabletop, let's leave the superhero stuff out of that. That's just me personally. Let's keep that more fantasy based. But what do you guys think down in the comments below? Is this something that you would like to see? Is this something you would like to play? Do you like Invincible at all? I. I, I actually found a fantastic YouTube channel that covered the entire Invincible story. It took them like a year to do it, year plus to do it. And I would wait every Sunday to hear that Invincible uh, uh, comic coverage. And so let me know what you guys think. And don't forget, if you guys are seeing this video, you want to be here tonight because we're doing an Iron Age roundtable discussion on gatekeeping and what that can mean and how that could be carried forward in the future for storytelling and properties that we enjoy. So thank you all so much for being here on A Drink With Crazy, and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.